Thank you so much for joining me for the next part of our series on how to quilt your quilts with an embroidery machine. So we have basted our panel. Uh, we have chosen our design. Now I've printed my template out on plastic, on sorry, on um, template vellum and I've laminated it only because I use this template quite often. The reason we need a template is to see the actual size of the design. To begin, I need to choose where that first row of stitching is going to go. Generally, you can choose to either start on one of the sides and smooth as you go, or you can choose to start in the centre. Today, I am going to start in the centre and I've got my chalk marking pen. I love this marking pen because it has six different colours in one. So it means I only need to carry around one marking pen. I'm going to come through and I know that my panel here is 24 inches wide. So I'm going to mark where that 12 inches is. And I am going to draw a line and this will be where the centre of my stitching is going to go. And I draw it all the way over and onto the chalk. Now I hope that is visible. The next step is I can actually begin the stitching. See you in a minute. And now we're ready to stitch. So the first thing I want to show you is the computer screen that I've got here. My design is loaded. I have selected my hoop and I've set my machine to show where the needle position is. And I'll just, so you can see there at the moment, we're in the middle of the hoop. What we need to do for this design is to begin where the first stitch starts. So I've moved my needle up to that first position and what you can then see there on the hoop, if I just turn that around a little bit, is that the hoop is now at the top or the needle point is now at the top of the hoop. I can take my quilt you do not need stabilizer the quilting design is fairly open and it just does not need stabilizer for it to work and I am going to start my design at the very edge just beyond that selvage so what I'm going to do is come through and put the needle in that I'm just going to grab this out so that I can show you. So my needle is right along that blue line that is showing me where, um, where I'm going to line up my designs. Don't worry about the fact that I cannot click that top one in. The first thing I want to do is make sure that my design is centered along the bottom. And what I've done is, if I've got my finger along the bottom there, you'll see I've got a mark where the center of the hoop is. I can then come down and pop the tops of those magnets on. before going along with the side pieces. My quilt is now hooped strongly enough that I am ready to stitch the first design. So all I do is raise the needle. If you don't want small bunches of um, knots on the back of your quilt, what you do is you just hold that thread for the first couple of stitches. Once I've done that, I'm 
Now I am using a multi-tonal thread here just because I thought it would look really cute on the design and might show up a little bit better than the colour that I used on the first one of these that I made. I love these panels, they are just perfect as presents of cushions for stitches and most stitches in my life received a cushion panel this year. Now, what I'm going to do is come through and I want you to be able to see the actual scissor quilting design. It is all single stitch. So there is no worry about it being too heavy for the design. Now my stitching is nearly finished. I'm onto the last pair of scissors here. And then the true magic of these designs comes into play. So our design is finished and on my machine we go back now to the middle of the design. I am going to remove my magnet tops. I'm then going to come through on my screen and send the design to where the first stitch starts again before and I'm just going to have to try and angle this correctly. It's going to be kind of hard because I'm doing it without or whilst I'm holding the camera but so the beginning of the design and end of the design and the center of the hoop are in the same place what I'm going to do is move my fabric over so that I can bring the needle down right into the spot where that last stitch ended. Now this is awkward as hell to do whilst you are holding the camera as well but you can see that we are right in that position. So we are now at the perfect place to start. So our needle is at the right position. I come through and make sure that the center of my hoop is along the center of the design raise my needle hold the thread so that I don't get that little thread knot on the back and that design is now perfectly matched up and ready to go. From there you repeat row after row after row lining things up with your templates and you will have continuous quilting in minutes on your embroidery machine. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, go forth and stitch.